Right, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got a big update on the van. So basically last week I decided to upgrade my steel wheels. Now, um, for those of you that already follow my channel, you'll know I've got a, a T5.1 transporter, um, which is four motion as well. And for those of you that don't know, that's basically what van I've got. So I was going to um, fit Sportline style alloys and like stick a body kit on the van. But then I thought, well, being at the van's four motion and that I like to use it off road a lot. Um, that's just going to hinder any like future um, functionality of the vehicle. So in the end, I just started looking online and i managed to find a lovely set of wheels um for yeah basically a lovely set of wheels uh, which will be able to do everything i want now the wheels i went for are called uh kmc hole shots and they've got uh, bf goodridge 245 65 17s on them so yeah they're very big and they are the all-terrain ones so you can use them in the snow you can use them in the mud you can use them in the rain um pretty much yeah all weather conditions now the good thing about them is is not only do they um work really well in all conditions they look really good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk around the van with the phone and then show you what they look like um but you're gonna have to excuse how <laughs> how muddy it is because this weekend i've literally just been going through country lanes i've taken them off road a bit as well and they performed amazing like just it didn't get stuck whatsoever plus it brings the van up a bit which is handy so i've got a bit more clearance underneath i'm not worried about um potholes i'm not worried about curbs um, the only thing I am worried about is theft. <laughs> People that see them probably just want to nick them. So, yeah. Um, all right, cool. I'm going to show you around. Excuse the muddiness and the dirtiness of the van, but I'm using it properly now, so that's that. And I will put a picture up of what they look like directly after I fitted them. So, yeah, these are them. You can see they're absolutely caked. They've still got the original um, spray mark on it from the place I've gone from. Uh, plenty of mud as well. <laughs> yeah, so you can see that it's still quite a nice uh, gap above the wheel itself from the arch. Um, I don't know if that's because mine's a four motion that they, they come standard 30 mil higher. I'll show you just in here how little the gap is from the back of the bumper. Um, I've got some more plans for the van though. I'm going to be basically doing like a swamper conversion on it. So I'm going to lift it up a bit more, put a lift kit, and also the plastic wheel arches. So, yeah. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little uh, few clips up of what they look like just as I fitted them. Because you can't even tell the colour. They're like a, I think they're like a flat black what are they are they chrome i don't even know anymore i think they're like not chrome they're like a black you'll see in the pictures anyway <laughs> shows how much i know and that's the tire tread um this is what the bf goodridge all trains look like close up very knobbly loads of tread on them and yeah look really good So yeah, that's the wheels and tyres. Uh, I hope I've given you all enough info. The last thing I was going to say actually is comfort. Now, when I'm driving the van, they are really comfortable. The road noise on them, they do make like a little whirling noise, but that sort of outweighs everything. They're, I'd say they're quieter than the standard steel wheels that I had on the van. Um, but they had commercial tyres on, so they were probably pretty loud anyway. So yeah, that's it, really it. Like they're really comfy, drives lovely, um, looks amazing. 
so if you're thinking about getting a set, why not? Like, if you want to be able to use your van off-road and not worry about getting stuck at campsites, etc., do it because you won't regret it. They were a little pricey, but to be honest, for what I paid with the tyres, it wasn't so bad. The company I got them from were a company called North Hans uh, Wheels and Tyres. They're based in Aldershot. So, yeah, give those a shout if you want a set. They're really helpful, actually. Um, they, let, they let me use all of their fitting kit outside. So, yeah, I couldn't recommend them enough. And, yeah. Uh, oh, that was the other thing before I go. The, um, the, the fuel econ economy. Uh, I don't really know. I've gone through a tank of fuel already because I've done quite a few miles. I think I'm getting less, less miles per, uh, per gallon, but... One one thing I did notice is the speedo uh, underreads. So if I'm if my speedo says 30 miles an hour, I'm probably doing 33, 34. So you've got to be careful of that. And I noticed that when I did like so just say like on my sat nav, I did like a 90 mile uh, journey. On the sat nav, it said I've got 90 miles to go. Now I clocked it on the speedo. And I think the time I got there, it said I'd done 81. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got to be careful of that. Just make sure if you do it, maybe get your speedo readjusted. Otherwise, your van's going to be showing less mileage than what it should do. Um, yeah, hope you found this video useful. And, yeah, give me a subscription, a like, a comment and all that. And keep up to date. I'm going to be putting more updates on soon. Next thing's wheel arches. Oh, and I did just buy some new styling fence for the outside. So I'll put a video up of them next as well. Cheers.